Okay, I'm finally back home. Let me show you my nails and my toes. Okay, okay so these are my nails. So they're my real nails. I just got a dipping powder. It's my real nail length, I should say. And then a dipping powder overlay on top. And then my toes. Here's Alexander painting today, so. Ooh, cool the colors you got. Yeah, so we've been looking. They don't have Sharon Williams here. I did not know that. Um, so we decided on this one. White veil and rainy season for the cabinets. And I really like it. Yeah, they look really, really nice together. Get the white so they can see the difference. Mm -hmm. We were going to get something a little bit darker on top, but decided with this. So you can see it against the stark white. Stand up. I feel like there's even more of a difference on camera. Right, yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, it's clear as day that this isn't. Stand down. That that isn't white. You know. No, no. Wow. Pretty sure we passed what we needed. <laughs> We're just walking. He's letting them press the button. Ooh. Yeah. Now, the fridge. Can would y'all mind dropping off some Subway? Subway, no. Sorry. Subway. Yeah, it's not in our budget. McDonald's. He begged for this cart. We got this cart because he begged for it. Whoa! Are you okay? Yep. He yeah. said, yep. Yeah. Gotta let them do what they're gonna do. Yeah. Okay, anyways, we're looking at sink. The paint is secured. The primer is secured. Love you too. Who you say you love you too? King said bye, I love you. Who's King? Oh my gosh. I was like, am I going crazy? And this is the kind of thing, apron, that's what it's called. Oh. But we don't really have the setup for something like that. Well, here's the thing, right? Because I, I got that stupid thing in the this way. Is yeah. No, no. Okay, so updates. I already showed my nails, I'm tripping. We have been home for a while now. Um, yeah. Daughter's doing her makeup. I'm full. My son is chilling. My other son is never chilling. She's never chilling. Uh, oh, gosh. She got a. I got your boo boo. You so, yeah. That's it. That's the update. <laughs> All right, we're in the kitchen. My honey bun is painting the cabinets. It's crazy because it already looks brighter in here, so much brighter. Oh, we did not empty them out. No, we did not. And so what? What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Exactly. We're just focusing right. on the outside right now anyways. And we're on a bit of a time crunch because this man works hours and hours and hours and hours away and we have a lot to do whenever he is home or whenever we are home and uh you know this is just what we're prioritizing right now and if you got a problem with it you can uh you can kiss my left butt cheek how about that Ew. <laughs> so yeah so this is just the primer. This is not gonna be the true color. The true color is probably gonna be like a, a shade and a half darker than this. A little bit more brown. And then we're, we wanna get this replaced, right? 
No, nah, we're going to get that replaced. We're going to get this replaced. Eventually, we'll be getting a new fridge. The uh, stove is not, I mean, the oven is not super old, so, but then this is extremely old. Yeah, the oven stays, uh, fridge, uh, venting hood, and the dishwasher. The dishwasher, and then we'll, we're going to do the countertops, and then the sink as well, so... Yes, it is atrocious. These blinds are not that old and they already look like this. Same thing with our living room blinds. We moved in, we changed all the blinds. I guess they're kind of old now. Right, it's, it's we been just, a while. It's, it's been like three years. We have to invest, like make an investment into blinds. We do when we replaced them, we were just being really, really cheap about it. And that's our bad. Mm -hmm. But when we go this next go around, Okay. We're not gonna be being cheap. All right. We're gonna get those thick uh, white ones, the, the wood ones. Yeah. White wood ones. I agree. They're gonna be kind of expensive, especially for the living room, but. And then we gotta put up a backsplash. Yes, that too. At Target. Easter stuff. If I got this, my husband would be so mad at me, bro. Five dollars for this little mat. This is so cute. I really need something like this. Just in white. Oh, this is a onesie, though. If I really want to go back down this road. You know, white one would be fine. Something like that, yeah. Oh, it has like a little stain on it. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. This is what I need right here. I think I might try this for real. I can't believe I look like this in public. I, I don't want to keep just buying stuff just to buy them stuff. We do that every holiday and then they end up just not using anything. So I'm definitely trying to be more intentional. Ooh. If I bought this, my husband will be so mad. A salad container. Ooh. He would hate me. To call and ask or to not to call and ask. Okay, so I'm back home in the room with my honey bun. He's taking a break from his responsibilities to be back here with me. I just wanted to show him what I had got for the kids. Um, I don't know if this is going to be uploaded before Valentine's Day or not. So I might not put it on camera. This is what the littles got. I'll show you that. So a book for King, a book for Zora, candy, a healthier candy, and then a little juice, a little juicy for each of them. We're trying to eliminate the need of just buying them stuff every holiday just because we love them. Obviously, we want to give them as much as possible. But at the same time, it's like, you get them these gifts, and they won't use them. Right. They just won't. Right. Books Books is always going to be, like, the number one gift I want to give for them because you have to read. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care if you like it or you don't want to do it. You have to read. But everything else, I don't have to make you cuddle with stuff animal. You know? Mm-hmm. So, I just wanted to get them, like, a couple things that were tangible. Tangible. They were, like, permanent. Um, and then snacks. And that's really it. I haven't really deep-dived into, like, the background and the history of Valentine's Day. And we definitely will on the day. Because um, every, every holiday is, like, a new day to learn something. Right. So, oh, and then I also got these. Did I show you these, right? No, 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 no. I saw them in the background, but you never showed them to me. Yeah, so just some um, 
It's just something to do. I almost got decorations. They had like a little decoration kit. And I was like, am I going to do that? Because we used to be really extravagant. We had the decor. We'd get them the ginormous stuffed animals. Cards. Bro, every, every, everything. Every holiday you can freaking think of. Just Yeah. It's just honestly too much. Just way too much. Yeah. We, we toned it down quite a bit. For we the, have. You know, and it's, it's for the better. We, we're doing better and better and better each year. We're like just cutting down. Even like for Christmas, for example, everyone just had one gift bag with like five gifts. Okay, Set so yeah, this is what I got Instagram for the little kids. Algorithms. And I'm just putting everything and in one bag. And then the big kids, I got all their stuff in here. So, okay, he's going to go back to painting the cabinet. Uh, so, bye. Uh, Good morning. We are on our way to my eye appointment. Yeah, I'm running late. They said if I can get there in five minutes, they won't reschedule me. So I'm probably going to get there like right at the five minute mark. So we're pulling in right now and I'll see y'all when I get in there. Okay, so I'm in my appointment. Just all the hard stuff with them blowing the air in my eye. Now I'm waiting for the doctor. I was recording you. I know. I don't think this doctor likes me. But my husband is here, so we'll see yeah. if he's nice to me today. Uh, real quick. Now, probably you watching, right? She said that she did the hard stuff. Now, when she says, says we're not talking about drugs here. I just want to make that clear. Oh, my gosh. Right. He is literally the worst. I don't know why I take him anywhere. Look what shoes I. They're cute, but I want cute like flat shoes too, cause I'm pregnant, and they're comfortable. You know, they don't hurt or anything. But the higher the heel, the faster I get tired. But we'll see y'all when we get out of here. Probably when we get back home. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, just got out of my appointment. They gave me um. A pair of contacts to wear for a trial they're a slightly stronger prescription because my left eye got worse so I'm kind of having a hard time just adjusting to like how everything looks I like my nails this is my first time ever doing dip thing powder <laughs> I knew you were gonna say something <laughs> That sounds See kinda, uh, the wax center. Sounds kind of gay. They slow down. You know these people be running out of Dollar Tree. Y'all, I have only been in Dollar Tree like maybe twice in my entire life, like any Dollar Tree, and honestly, maybe even just once. Okay, but we're headed inside now. Okay, so we were at the nines. Um, why does it look like my foot actually fits well in them? It's kind of so weird. Good. Like my toe is not too far off and my heel is not too far off. I mean, I think with what it fit, what it feel. Can I see the, is it two in there? Yeah. Gosh, everything looks so big. Which is not the lemon peppers. Stop. <laughs> I don't know, my feet are kind of wide right now. My feet look humongous. Am I losing my mind? Uh, they look beautiful. You gonna eat something? Okay. All right. Do you wanna do you want your job back or? No. <laughs> okay. Hello. So I don't know if you'll even be able to hear me or not because I can barely hear myself because of the rain. Let's let me show you the weather conditions right now. The camera can't even pick it up how bad it's raining out here. You you see how hard our windshield wipers are working though. We are not dramatic people like that, okay? It's it's bad. So yeah, we're on our way to Houston. We got caught in the rain. Um we're gonna do the best we can. That's all we can do. We prayed about it. Another plot twist. 
Only the girls came with us. My boys, they just did not want to come. My oldest didn't want to come. I think he kind of felt bad about his grandfather staying home by himself. My dad is older, but he is not decrepit or senile or none of that. Okay, he's very, you know. We forced him to go with us every time if I was worried about him not being able to take care of himself. But that's their papa, so. And then my other son wanted to stay because his brother wanted to stay. We just wanted to get on here and update y'all. Passing through College Station, and look at this little carnival. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've seen a carnival or since we've been one. I know. We gotta, we gotta change. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyways, we're okay. playing Two Truths and a Lie, so bye. What's up? We finally made it to the hotel. We are staying at Staybridge here in. Humble, I think we're in Humble, um, right next to the airport. This is pretty close to where I'm getting my hair done. I think with traffic, it's like 20 minutes, and then without traffic, it's like a 13 minute drive. So, yeah. But let me show you the hotel. So, front door, obviously. And then this is the full kitchen with a little bar area okay full size fridge full size husband full size baby we gotta get this thing unloaded so people can use it yeah um couch really really okay not uh oh you did that on purpose okay and then we come in here to the bedroom it's normal regular bedroom nice tv all tucked away over there has a chair in here ah I'm trying to zoom back in the regular just so y'all can get a better feel of it full-size mirror you can see aubrey <laughs> and then this is the sink area the bathroom area mirror closet we are not gonna unpack our billions and billions of things because we're only here for one night so Literally. we're just probably gonna pull out toiletries um our jammies and then whatever we're gonna wear tomorrow which i'm not even sure what i'm gonna wear tomorrow because i don't know what the weather's gonna be like um and then water closet toilet shower i just took a duke and then I like these like French light -like doors. Wait, and, and, wait, you gotta close the one on the right. I'm doing grand opening. Like, how cute is that? So cute. <laughs> and the little crazy baby. Crazy oh baby, <laughs> crazy baby. Okay, so he's about to just leave us without saying bye or anything. So. Oh, man, he's so cute. Let me zoom in on you. Uh -oh. Look at that face. Hey guys, it's me, Aubrey, recording. I'm the best vlogger in the world. So, first, that road trip was really long, but I'm really glad we got our car back. So, yeah, but in the car, I was reading a few pages. I think this has been my favorite book. I'm not a huge chapter book fan, but I love graphic novels. Let me show you guys a fit chat. Yeah. So we still fit check. So first we have this Nike Air shirt from Nike, of course. I don't know these pants from, oh, Wonder Nation. These pink pants from Wonder Nation. These Nikes. Um, these are Air Jordan 1 Lowe's. And from Nike. And this coach. From Coach. And my dad. They gave him a little popcorn thing. He didn't like popcorn. But uh yeah. Oh and my dad got we haven't tried this one yet. This is a Nicki Minaj Nacho Nachos. So these are Stop, close it. So these are nacho chips south. Door south. Sour cream, 
ranch and nacho cheese. Don't forget to follow my Instagram, Little Lock Brie. If you want to know what styles I do for Christmas, holidays, Valentine's Day, all that stuff. And I'll show you guys with my micro lock journey. So, yeah, so that's it for now. We're picking up dinner. My husband decided on, he picked chicken sandwiches. So this is where we're pulling up to. He's just gonna run inside and grab it. Is they cuddled up or am I tripping? They are. Mm. He's sitting in her lap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are in the hotel lobby. It's cute, small. It's giving, oh, whatever. It's giving us stuff. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And this is what Aubrey and Zora's food is looking like. It looks so good. This is mine, I'm assuming. And French fry. French fry. I'm gonna see what this food is hitting on. Look who's getting baby dressed for bed. Washed her hair, so I probably will not wash it again until we get back to our hometown night night so as you can see me and the baby are all showered up i went ahead and washed my hair even though she is going to wash my hair tomorrow Lord willingly um she's gonna wash it tomorrow but i still wanted to just go ahead and do it just to i don't know there's some logic there I just felt like I needed to wash my hair. I, I have a whole bunch of like sulfur eight and stuff in there because I had the braids in for a little while and my scalp has just, you know, been paying for it. So, babe. Good morning again, y'all. Just want to come in here and update. I am about to get ready. I'm really nervous. Praying everything goes smoothly today. And, um, yep. We're at Dillard's in Houston instead of my hair appointment. Looking in the coach section. Oh, this is cute. 670. It's Aubrey and the baby sleep. We're just looking though. My honey bun's not gonna buy me anything. Huh? My honey bun's not gonna buy me anything yeah, here. Now we, 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 we can look around first. <laughs> okay, so Thanks. quick update on the hair stuff. So basically, um, the lady canceled. She called me and said she was sick and she couldn't do it. My husband is livid. Well, he was. But uh, we know everything's on God's timing, so it is what it is. All right, back at it again. It's me on the video now. I'm on uh, baby washing duties at the bathroom. She is just the most precious thing knocked out. So my wife and daughter, they're using the bathroom right now. I wanted to show y'all this nice dollhouse and it has accessories that goes with it. Yeah, and I think it's kind of cool. Uh, so for your newborns, they have this honest baby clothing and it looks like high quality um, items. You know, this is what, a five pack? That's actually not too bad. I think this is all organic clothing. It feels really nice. Might have to get Zora a pair of pants or something. Mm -hmm. I can't tell what these are. I don't, I'm not sure if they're actually pants or something else. Now it's like a little towel or something. I don't know. Maybe we can get her a pair, a pack of bottoms here or something. But yeah, that's all I wanted to do. Just waiting on my wife and my daughter to come out. And uh, we'll update y'all again shortly.
I don't know how you like it. You want to go look in the mirror or something? Maybe, yeah. This one right here. We are in Zara, ma'am. You like it? No, no. What? You don't even know what that is. He's trying to grab it. She really stretched and reached this show. Puzzle, it's a puzzle, a care bear, bigger puzzle. <gasps> Mama. What? So cute. It's a panda. Panda boba. She stole my favorite animal, so. She did. My favorite animal is a panda. Everybody knows that. Come on, let's walk, baby. <laughs> Koala pig, regular pig, so cute. It's how she's. Her name is Tyla. Look at this little trash can. I'm gonna put that in me as well. I got it. <laughs> I need me some more face razors too. Me too, Joey. I've never even had regular. What the heck? They just got random knives and forks. Uh, we bear bears. Wee. Yeah, I see. Yeah, mm-hmm, that's cute. They have a glow in the dark it's a little trash can. Yeah, that's what I was trying to show you earlier. Mm. Little trash can. Mm. All little lunch boxes and whatnot. What the heck? Oh, little mirrors. Do they have a fold up mirror? Because I could just get one from here instead of Amazon. Because the one I had saved was Hello Kitty. Stickers. I love this one. A coffee bear. Now this is cute. It is. I'm a great seller. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can hand some. Look at this. There we go. <laughs> Man, I used to love stuff like this when I was a kid. What's that? What's that? Spawns. Hurry, hurry. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Alright, so we are at the Cheesecake Factory. And we're starting off with some crab dip. Say hi, honey. Hi. We decided to eat outside because it feels so good. We're still in Houston. We'll be heading out pretty soon. I'm hoping to see Gina Gina. Wanna try it together? Yeah, I wanna try it together. Houston is like the YouTube capital of the world, so. She just wants to see somebody famous down here. I got my skinny girl burger. Skinny, skinny delicious burger. You got a, a pasta. French onion glam it's like, it's burger. It's like a French dip. But it's, it's like a French dip, but it's like a burger. Yeah. I'm that girl. She got a pasta. Mommy. We're in the children's place. If you don't go to the children's place, um, you either like spending $5 billion on clothes or your child dresses like an adult. <laughs> exactly. When we have the app so we get... <laughs> I'm going to play this back and if I hear that, we're going to have a ginormous problem. Hold on. Summer tiny, like pink lemonade, yellow, and then this mismatch match thing. This is a little bit cuter. Sure, I would yeah. not... So we have officially left the mall. We were not keeping up with the time. Okay. And we also assumed Dillard's closed at 7 for some reason. And they really closed at 6. 
because of that we we got down to Dillard's and they were all closed up honey all closed up so we had to walk all the way around okay <laughs> with the baby and it was kind of chilly outside it wasn't freezing cold just a little windy okay and uh I know y'all don't play out here in Houston okay so I was a little, I was a little worried I was on my P's and Q's. I'm not used to big city living. Okay, so I was just trying to hurry and get out of there. I had my daughter running and everything. So we're gonna pray because we forgot to pray. And then by the grace of God, Lord willingly, when we make it there, that's when we'll update y'all. Hello, we are finally in our hotel. It's very late and I'm very, very, very tired, but I wanted to record this haul before I went to sleep because I'm not going to feel like doing it tomorrow. Okay, so first stop, Dillard's. We got my daughter two pair of pants. Okay, so these are the first pair of pants. Look at these, bro. Both pairs of jeans were on clearance, okay? So we like clearance stuff. If we can get something on sale or clearance, typically that's that's what we're going to order first or purchase first. It's rare that we get like full price stuff, but sometimes we do. Then this is some skinny jeans. Now she got options. We got this North Face shirt. For my honey bun and the other thing we got from there was this skirt come on now that is so cute then we have zara now i've been in zara twice in my life the first time i looked around a little bit decided it wasn't really for me and left and then my husband noticed zara when we were walking through the mall today He's like, hey, you want to go on Zara? I'm like, sure. And as soon as we walked in there, he saw that there was a Zara man. And I was like, yeah, let's just go over there. And then I told him, Zara's a little, she's a little out of my price range. I, I think. I won't even really give her enough of a chance to show me what her prices be looking like for real, for real. I'm sure I could find like a good sale or a good deal there or something, but... I don't know. Like, I'm just not really a Zara girl yet. But my honey bun found something on clearance, of course. And the jacket was originally $120. And the sticker says $49.99. And on the rack, it said $39.99. And then when we got up to the counter, it was $29.99, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. This is what it looks like, okay? All right. Victoria's Secret. Another store I was just going to pass up, but my husband was like, mm -mm, girl, I'm going home. So I almost got this, like, teddy romper, which was really cute. And he said I could have both. He said I could have a teddy romper, especially because it was the last one of my size. Plus this little get up. But I was like, nah, we need to pick one or the other. So this is what the top the top of them look like. And then this little corset get up. Um, I don't really wear corsets, but this one is like stretchy. So I got it. Problem? Then think so. Uh we have support. I only got two things from there. I got this hourglass foundation and then he got me the Not Your Baby perfume by Fleur. I wanted to smell missing persons. People said it's a good like skin scent. But they didn't have it. So this, I smelled this. It actually smelled like baby powder. It smells so good. I can't even freaking get it open. That's the last thing that I got. And of course, we had lunch out there and whatnot. And um, so I never really 
fully went into detail, but my the lady that was supposed to do my hair called me about an hour and a half before the appointment to say that she was not feeling good. And uh, she, she said that she was just letting me know before I made the drive out there. And I was just so caught off guard. And I was just like, oh, oh, uh, okay. She's like, yeah, we can reschedule. I can call you when I'm feeling better. Or I was like, yeah, you can, you can just call me. She was like, okay, thank you for understanding. And then I got the phone. I told my husband what happened. And he was furious, obviously, <laughs> because we drove to Houston the day before and booked the hotel room to be sure that we were going to make it to this appointment on time. And um, because she has like, she's one of those stylists that have all these policies, you know, they say, oh, they say, yeah, it's, they're going to cuss you out and then still charge you a deposit. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, have a good night. Have a good night. that's her site. If I canceled my appointment, what the policy states is that my card would have been charged in full for the entire appointment. And I'm a very punctual person. I'm not somebody who, if I'm paying money and stuff like that, I like to be there early. I don't play about this. So we decided to just go ahead and drive out the day before because we had to make this long drive the day of to come down here for my husband's job. So it's like, we don't want to drive three hours and then turn around and drive another three hours on the same day. So it was just like a huge punch to the gut, you know. I booked this appointment like what a month in advance. We've been saving all month to make sure we were good to do it. And um I was looking I was looking forward to getting my hair done so bad. And it just I mean it really was heartbreaking. So I texted her and I told her I really do hope you feel better. But the fact of the matter is, you know, we had to do A, B, and C to make sure we made it on time. And uh, can I just have my deposit back? You know, the deposit is to secure an appointment time. And since she failed to meet her obligations, I feel like the very least she could do is give me my deposit back. Which was only $50, but also it was $50. You know what I'm saying? $50 can go a long way. I have four children. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That that could have bought both my daughter's jeans today. So, um, and of course, I have not received a response. So more than likely, we're just going to dispute the charge with the bank because we paid for a service that was not done. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, isn't that fraudulent? I don't know. Um... But anyways, the silver lining in that I had been praying that if I was not meant to go to this appointment, that God have her cancel it. And she did. Okay. Do I believe she was sick? I don't know. Today was Super Bowl Sunday. So I did feel like the appointment was going to be canceled already. <laughs> I kept saying, I'm surprised she had the today open. It's Super Bowl Sunday. People take the Super Bowl very seriously. And then, sure enough, she canceled. It's suspicious, but I cannot say that she was not sick, for sure. I don't know. So, anyways. Um, but we ended up having a really good day. Just being out with each other at the mall. Looking at stuff. Smelling stuff. Drinking Starbucks. You know, we just, we ended up having a really good day. So... And we wouldn't have gotten to experience that had I been sitting in a chair. And uh, we got to keep a little money. <laughs> so I'm back to square one. But it's all good. I'm trying to move on God's timing. And I'm just grateful for today in general.
So I'm going to close up this vlog because my phone is dying and it might just cut off while I'm trying to record. So thank you for watching this weekend vlog. Okay, it was supposed to be a weekly vlog, but we didn't do nothing the first part of the week. So this is a weekend vlog. Do you understand that? Okay, just trying to make sure we're on the same page. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this weekend vlog. And I'm not going to say all the corny things because it's like, you know, if you chose to watch, you kind of know what to do if you like it. So, yeah. And, um, I guess we'll talk to you later. Call you in the morning, maybe? I don't know. Let me know. Text me when you have some time. Okay, yes. Thank you for watching. Like, Okay, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Hold on, my daughter. Stay by. Bye.